Okay. Just come to the conclusion that nobody can colonize me, nobody can stress me. So, because people have been going to school and I'm going to finish and I'm going to bust out. Can I get an amen? Amen. So, let's jump right into this video. Thanks. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, thank you so much for coming. My name is Tommy Adelusi. And for those of you that are already familiar and already OGs with my channel, thank you so much for coming back. You're welcome. So, guys, today I just want to just talk about the reason why I've been off for a while and the reason why I've not been posting this much. And that's because I'm in school. And like we all know, and like we've all come to the conclusion that uni is a scam. So before I start this video, I'm just going to just give like a basic disclaimer. This is just my honest opinion about uni, my experience about uni, and it's nothing serious. I'm not talking about any uni in particular, including the school I'm going to right now, so nobody should come for me. This is just my honest opinion. And first and foremost, the problem I have with uni is just the fact that everything is just overpriced like overpriced education overpriced food but let's just start with the overpriced education first and foremost i don't understand why i'm paying so much for me to just get a cake information nobody's telling me anything new nobody's teaching me people's skill like it's just like the aim of this school is like you know what let's just frustrate these children and after frustrating them let's just leave them confused because some people just oh my god guys they're pumping water i just hope that you guys just Whatever, let's just continue this video. Because, like, some people just enter uni, spend four years, spend five years, spend six years, whatever the case may be, and they just come and they're just confused. Like, I think that's just, like, the case for so many people, including me. Because, like, we really don't know what we're going to do with our lives. We really don't know how. Because, like, you're not teaching us basic skills about space to learn. Nobody's teaching you people's skill. Nobody's teaching you um, time management skill. Nobody's teaching you basic survival skills. Nobody's teaching you, oh, how to manage your money. But instead, they're just helping you to just spend the money across the streets. Like, it's just quite hard. And I'm just doing some courses that I don't understand what I'm doing. And I'm like, okay, at the end, where am I doing these courses? What am I going to learn from these courses? How is this going? How is this course going to help my ministry? How is this course going to help Nigeria's ministry? Hmm? Can you answer me? Like that's just it. Now the overpriced food. Jesus is Lord, just for you. Like, I get the fact that, oh, due to mass production, oh, because, because, like, in my school, yeah, you have to pay for food. Because, like, you pay for food in your school fees in my school. So, like, they give you things like tickets. Oh, Jesus. Let me check for tickets here. Okay. Something like this now. So, they give you, like, tickets where, like, you have to pay for, either you pay for breakfast, lunch, and supper, or you just pay for any of the two. So, like, they just, like, give you tickets here. So, the one I'm holding here has breakfast and supper, yeah. So now, I get the fact that due to mass production, yeah, the food might not be that good. The food is not even great. Due to mass production, due to so many limitations, the food is not going to be great. Fine, cool, I'm not judging you. I'm not saying that all the food should be great or anything. But now, when you're not making other options, like you're not making me to buy food, why am I going to spend 350 to buy the same type of food that I'm going to get in the cafeteria? Hmm? Much worse. Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? Can somebody explain to me here? Like, the foods are just overpriced. The quality of the food is low. Like, it's really low. Like, the food is just tasteless. It's bland. There's no, I, I don't even care because, like, I'm partially a vegetarian right now. So, fish and meat doesn't really, really offend me or lack of fish and meat doesn't really, really annoy me. But whatever, let's just get back into what we're saying. Let us digress. So like, why am I just, why is everything overpriced? Why? Why is all the food, like, if you go to our grocery right now, it's just like, they're just, I'm seeing pap. Huh? Who's eating pap? Who's eating kuli kuli with you? Am I 85 years old? Like, they just have this concept. Like, the things that even in the grocery, first and foremost, they're just useless. Nothing there, like, nothing is there to make sense. Nothing is going to fuel you. Now, the things that you cannot manage to eat, they're now way, 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 way overpriced. I think they have this misconception that about people that go to private unis as our friends are plucking money from the tree. Enjoy that one. Even if my father says he's plucking the money from the tree, the man is already old. Like, they're already old. Do you want to break their hip or their backs as they're plucking the money from the tree, even if they're actually plucking the money from the tree? Do you, I, I don't understand. I don't even know their plan. Like, I just say that nobody should even just get me tired about the way they just frustrate us in schools. Like, there are so many, for those of us that are in private uni yeah we have so many so many so many restrictions especially like private uni in nigeria that's where i'm coming from there's so many so many restrictions we really can't do anything we really can't go out we really ah, 
we have to go to church a certain number of days, we have to do this, we have to do that. And I think the worst thing that's even happening to me right now is discovering that final year is a scam. I feel like nobody told me that final year was a scam or is a scam because like, I had the idea of oh when I get to final year I'm going to do some bust down Tatiana moves I'm going to flex I'm going to have fun I'm gonna you know do some <laughs> 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 I have so many things to do we have projects lectures i never remember that oh yes like you have projects you have projects to do they still keep on giving you so many assignments so many tests so many quizzes seven o'clock classes like there's literally no difference right now yeah between me than 500 level and somebody that's in 100 level like the, the, the difference might just be like the person is just confused as the person is entering into the school as to the rules of the school and me i'm living confused as to what's the next step in my life so but there is a confusion there so i mean no both them on the same level we are actually on the same level and the ones that the one that irritate me the most rather is the fact that unis now keep on leveraging the fact that oh since you're in final year you're like in a very very shaky spot so like you really don't want to break rules you really don't want to break any regulation you just want to just float and just pass and they just keep on making unnecessary erratic rules like in some private unis eh, the rules are not even more than the education itself like the procedural things are not more than the substantive reason that you are in the school like what's your plan what's your aim like i'm really 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 confused if you are just starting your um journey in uni or for those of you that are for your journey in uni or for those of you that are already in the final year like me in the uni i just feel like regardless of all these things i'm saying uni is still wrong uni is still kind of fun because you have the uni experience you get to meet new people you get to meet you get to meet new people you get to experience new culture you get to you know like just leave home for a while and what i just say like i just got to meet god i got to meet friends i got to meet my spiritual family which is something that is really really amazing so that's all please don't forget to share your uni experience with me the problems you have with uni why you like your uni how uni is treating you don't forget to just leave in the comment section below and use the hashtag my uni experience i'm waiting for you i think i'm even going to start the conversation this is my hashtag uni experience in the comment section below and i'm waiting for you like i said earlier on and i just hit under subscribers like three weeks ago but i was offline so i couldn't post and say thank you to all of you thank you to my hundred subscribers thank you to the mustangs yes that's our name the mustangs since we're hundred we already have a name the mustangs we move we roll so um yeah please don't forget to, for those of you that are new please don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe please 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 subscribe i'm trying to get to 300 before the end of this year i know just two months away but i believe in myself thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the comment section below bye